An 18 year old accused of raping a 15 year old fellow student at Mount Miguel High School faced a judge for the first time today on seven felony charges. CBSA's Brian White was there and explains what happened in court. The sexual assault of that 15 year old happened less than two weeks ago here at Mount Miguel High School and detectives with the sheriff's office got to work quickly and within a week they identified who they believed the assailant was and took him into custody. Enter a not guilty plea, a denial to any and all allegations, request the appointment of the public defender's office. 18 year old Rayvon English pleading not guilty to a number of forcible sex crimes, including rape, kidnapping and false imprisonment. The judge ordered his face not be shown. The facts and circumstances are obviously very disturbing and concerning uh, to parents and students. According to the San Diego Sheriff's Office, the 15 year old victim and student was on campus for an after school program when she was assaulted in a restroom, notifying school staff within 20 minutes after she says it happened. After a week long investigation identifying English as the suspect, he turned himself into the Rancho San Diego Sheriff's Station. Students should feel safe at school especially young girls, they should feel safe to use the bathroom in peace. And it's our commitment to hold this defendant accountable uh, to the fullest extent of the law. Deputy District Attorney Clayton Carr says English is facing a maximum sentence of 84 years to life in prison if convicted on all charges. His family was in the courtroom for the proceeding, as was the victim's mother, father and grandmother. The victim's obviously heartbroken. The family is very heartbroken by what happened. Um, they are committed to protecting their daughter. Um, they are very supportive and loving and caring. And I feel like the victim, um, under the circumstances, it has a really great support network um, looking after her right now. The judge ordered no bail and imposed a criminal protective order on English, in which he is not to have any contact with the victim. He'll remain in custody for now, at least until his readiness and bail review hearing on April 29th. At the East County Regional Courthouse, Brian White, CBS 8.